Hey, it's Miss Cool this morning, getting ready for the day. Had a few things on my heart. I always tell people it is coming from a place of love. Some of my people I follow, we always say that. Because this way you're not like hurting people's feelings, okay? And you try to be tactful. But listen, there's a lot of people that can't communicate, if you know what I'm saying. So the only way they can communicate is uh, thinking things, waiting for you to leave and talking about you. Or acting like, you know, they got some credentials on the wall so they know how to communicate when they don't even have their basics down. Let me tell you a rude awakening here. You want your basics to get down? Anybody that's got a, a degree in anything? Anybody that thinks that they can talk to everybody? Sure, you can talk to certain people, can't you? I bet you can. I bet you can talk to people that are in your clique or your circle. Okay? I'm not saying that a musician... Uh, Needs to sit around with a bunch of people and make some music with somebody that cuts meat all day and be a butcher. I'm going to be straight with you right now. Try being a waitress. Now, I met a couple waitresses because I might take a part-time job doing some different things, hostess in. But uh, when you deal with the public for years and years, it's different than, say, for example, a factory worker. Say, for example, a, a postman. Say, for example, people that are dealing with, like, one job all day long, they're gathering things or, you know. I'm going to be honest, I have a friend that, you know, takes care of baskets and hangers. When the best job he could do is move away from that and talk to people. Try cashiering. Might be good for you. Might be good for you to be able to change your personality to meet others' needs. Now, when you're in a restaurant, you want to know what you do? Yeah, you got a potpourri. You got railroaders. You got mothers. You got kids, you know, acting up at the table. You need to give some free mashed potatoes to so they hush up till they get their meal. You can bend. You're not going in the same environment with the same people for years and years and years and clicking out. It's impossible. You can't do it. My son, Ryan, he's in a potpourri of different people coming in his establishments. So that way it helps his personality to kind of groove and blend in. I'm not trying to be rude, okay? I'm just saying there's a difference in respect it, would you already? Um, people wonder, you know? They're like, oh, I can't talk to them. I'm in my clique. I have to only talk to people that do my profession. Really? I say to all of you people that haven't been able to do that, walk in a restaurant on a Sunday morning. I want you to deal with people that are hungry. I want you to deal with a drug addict that's, that, that, that gives big tips, okay? And, and he don't have to say it, but he's got a lot of money. Uh, he might take a $100 bill and tear it in half and smash it in some butter just for fun. And then you got a half a $100 bill. You need to find the other waitress to tape it together and wash it off and split it, okay? Miss Cool's being straight with you, Okay. So, you look at different people in different professions. Hey, you know, things are going to happen different in a restaurant. People are hungry, first of all. When you deal with a hungry person, guess what? They want their food. And you need, to, you need to take their order. Okay, I said I'd share some stories. I'm not saying that people with their personalities need to be in a position in life where they do a better job. Some people need to sort mail. Some people need to talk to a letter and see where it goes, and they're real quick at doing it. I respect you. Alabama did a song, okay? To the waitress, to the machinist, to the guy on the road, the trucker. We all are aware of that. But there becomes a problem when you yourself don't know that other people, you know, have experienced something that you haven't. I don't have to blend in with cliques. I don't have to blend in. I'm used to being around people that are all kinds of people that you can just change. I'm just trying to make you aware today that Miss Cool had to take her personality, take her talk talk, and be in an environment that wasn't always the same, same time, same people, same bat channel. Get it? That used to be Batman. When you're in an environment like that, you do have to talk fast. You do have to make decisions fast. You do need to make some money. Because guess what? You're making $2.13 an hour. Hello. Does anybody get it yet that the waitress lives on her tips? You need to tip people. Okay? Um, 
I guess my point today on here is looking back at my life at 64 years old. Thank you, Lord. It was hard work, but I was able to communicate with a lot of people. If you're stuck in a job where you're doing the same thing all the time, you're dealing with the same people all the time, you know exactly what time they're going to be there and you're going to be there. Kind of stretch out, man. Keep that job because we need you. And I, I know that you'd say I, you needed my personality. But try not to critique and bother people that didn't have a degree, that went out and hustled a job and were a single mama. You're not above me. I'm not above you. But the clicks are nasty. The clicks. Oh, you can't talk to her. Really? I'll be kind to you and I'll understand you, but hear my stories. So I'm going to go out with this story one morning. It was early. I opened up a restaurant and a motel. Same railroaders came in, but this morning in particular was different. And I looked at him. He used to run trains from Vegas to Utah. And I said, what are you going to have this morning? You going to have your eggs? You want, how do you, you know, this and that? And he looked at me and he goes, it's like a jackrabbit. I go, what? You get, you get a chance of being a waitress to, you know, console people too. I go, a jackrabbit, but he goes, I couldn't stop the train, I hit him. I was like, oh, this man's sitting in my station at a booth, and I served coffee too. There was such a heaviness there. And I've been asked to by some waitresses I've connected with in town to share some of my stories. So Miss Cool's sharing a story right now with you, just one out of a million, and I'm gonna be coming on and doing it. He was so sad that day that he couldn't stop a train. And then it felt like a jackrabbit, but it was a human being, a man. He didn't want breakfast. So I just stood by him. In life, you gotta understand people, all right? You have to listen to them, hear their stories, know where they came and what they've done before you judge them, all right? And that's what Ms. Cool's trying to do, is teach somebody something I learned can you teach me something you learned? It's Miss Cool saying, hey, I'll be back with another waitress story. He made it through the day. And he came back the next time, still didn't eat much, because he had to go to this motel I worked at and, and have breakfast before he got back on the train. You know, a railroader. They tip you good. They wear real kind of cool watches and overalls. But he had a sad day, and I won't forget him, because today I thought of him. He said it felt like a jackrabbit and he couldn't stop a train and hit a man crossing. God bless you, it's Miss Cool. I'll keep coming back at you, all right?